Here are six brush strokes you need to know to create a painting. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridget and I'm an artist and art educator. The first brush stroke you need to know comes naturally. And it's just simply putting paint on the page with one straight stroke. And this is the one you'll use most often. This second stroke is for precision. That is if you want to create thin lines or straight lines. Holding your brush perpendicular to your canvas or paper, you're focusing painting with the tip of your brush. For thin lines, press lightly, and for thick lines, press harder. This next brush stroke is less of a stroke and more of a dab. So this is just a dabbing technique, and depending on the shape of your brush, you'll have a different um, end result on your paper. So all you're doing with this one is you're manipulating the shape of your brush to create different shapes on the paper. And that shape will change depending on how you hold your brush. So I've shown you two different ways here, a flat way and a vertical way. So this next brush stroke is a flicking technique. And in the way that I'm doing it here, you could see how this could easily be used to create trees or grass or anything like that in nature. Now this next brush stroke is like a squiggle. You would place your paintbrush on the paper and just move it back and forth in a sort of S pattern. It's a good brush stroke to know for blending. Now I'm gonna show you how to create a gradient. That is when two colors are placed side by side and they are blended together in the middle. This is especially good for skies and sunsets and water. So put the two colors on your brush directly and then line them up with them on your canvas and just go up and down or along that line where they meet. And you can change the angle at which you hold your brush, but don't flip over your brush and mix the two that way. Just keep your brush moving in the same direction and then go slightly side to side, as you can see I'm doing here. Um, not very far on each side, but just enough to blend that line out so that way you don't see where the two colors meet anymore. Instead, it is just a gradient. If you like this video, give it a like, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching!